3. Welcome to Lesson 3 of the Food Handler Safety Course provided by Texas Best Food Services Training. This lesson will introduce you to the critical food safety issue of understanding and following proper procedures for controlling pathogenic, something that harms or kills you, usually relating to bacteria, viral, fungi, or mold, growth through time and temperature parameters. Why is it important? Well, these little bitty critters can make you very sick or kill you if not controlled. The good news is that they are easy to control. Cook food to the proper temperature to control pathogens in that food. Unless you are a biology lab, you cannot tell what if any pathogens are in a food. Nor can you tell at what temperature it is. The only solution is to do something that will kill whatever is in there. This is done by using a food thermometer to find out if that food has been cooked to the proper temperature. If you do not use a food thermometer, you are playing Russian roulette with your life, and if you cook or prepare food for the public, playing Russian roulette with their life. You kill me, I'll come back to haunt you. Definition and examples of time temperature control for food safety, time. Temperature control for safety food, formerly potentially hazardous food. A food that requires time, temperature control for safety to limit pathogenic microorganism growth or toxin formation. An animal food that is raw or heat treated. A plant food that is heat treated or consists of raw seed sprouts, cut melons, cut leafy greens, cut tomatoes, or mixture of cut tomatoes that are not modified in a way so that they are unable to support pathogenic microorganism growth or toxin formation, or garlic and oil mixtures that are not modified in a way so that they are unable to support pathogenic microorganism growth or toxin formation. Except as specified in tables A, and B, of this definition, a food that because of the interaction of AW and pH values is designated as product assessment required in Table A, or B, of this definition. pH is the acidity of a food. The more acidic, like orange juice, the lower the number. The more basic, like milk, the higher the number. It is a scale from 1 to 14, with 7 being neutral. A is the wetness of the food, as measured by it vapor pressure. Technically it is the ration of the vapor pressure of the food to the vapor pressure of pure water at sea level at STP. Potentially hazardous food does not include air-cooled hard-boiled eggs with the shell still intact. Also, a shell egg that the salmonelli has been destroyed. A food whose pH, AW interaction is designated as non-pH, AW in the previous tables. Food that can achieve and maintain sterility under conditions of non-refrigerated storage and distribution and kept in a hermetically sealed, unopened container. Food that demonstrates by a product assessment and laboratory tests that time and temperature control for safety is not necessary. May contain a preservative or other barrier to the growth of microorganisms. A combination of barriers that prevents microorganic growth. Food that does not support the growth of microorganisms. Food that is considered non-TCS due to its pH, AW. The danger zone The danger zone is the range of temperatures between 41 degrees and 135 degrees Fahrenheit where bacteria grow very quickly. You must avoid having foods in the danger zone. When heating or cooling foods, the foods must pass through the danger zone quickly. A thermometer use and calibration A food thermometer is used to accurately measure the temperature of food. It is the one and only way to do this. This is necessary since most rules regarding food preparation involves temperature controls. Devices scaled only in Celsius or dually scaled must be accurate within 1 degree in the intended range of use. Devices scaled in Fahrenheit must be accurate within 2 degrees in the intended range of use. Thermometers should be scaled in ice water for thermometers used primarily for cold foods, 
and scaled in boiling water for thermometers primarily intended for hot foods. Distilled water should be used since tap water has solutes which affect the boiling and melting points of this water. The National Institute of Standards and Technology recommends that food thermometers be calibrated at least annually. Calibration of thermometers in ice water Place the thermometer in a crushed ice and distilled water slurry for one minute, ensuring that the thermometer does not touch the container. If the thermometer does not read between 30 and 34 degrees, adjust to 32 degrees. Non-adjustable thermometers must be serviced professionally. Calibration of thermometers in boiling water bring a container of distilled water to a boil. Place the thermometer in the water, ensuring that it does not touch the sides. If the thermometer does not read between 210 and 214 degrees, adjust to 212. Non-adjustable thermometers must be serviced professionally. Thermometers that cannot be calibrated through the above methods should be calibrated by comparing its results to calibrated thermometers. Thermometers that are used to measure critical control points should be calibrated daily or weekly. Managers and certified food managers can assist you in performing this properly. Food Receiving Food shall be obtained from sources that comply with applicable laws and are licensed by the state regulatory authority having jurisdiction over the processing and distribution of the food. Food prepared in a private home, except as allowed in 228.223 of this title, or from an unlicensed food manufacturer or wholesaler, is from an unapproved source and may not be used or offered for human consumption in a food establishment. Packaged food shall be labeled as specified in law. Basically, this means label everything that is not totally obvious like macaroni. Fish that are intended for consumption in their raw form may be offered for sale or service if they are obtained from a supplier that freezes the fish properly or frozen on the premises properly as specified by the TFER and records are created and retained. When received, the packaging must be observed for any damage which may have caused the food to be unsafe. Look and smell are ways to predict that it has arrived properly, especially seafood products. Fish eyes must be clear and the gills red. Food receiving temperatures. Except as specified in paragraph, 2, of this subsection, refrigerated, time, temperature controlled for safety food shall be at a temperature of 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below when received. If a temperature other than 41 degrees Fahrenheit for a time temperature controlled for safety food is specified in law governing its distribution the food may be received at the specified temperature. Raw shell eggs shall be received in refrigerated equipment that maintains an ambient air temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Grade E milk shall be received in refrigerated equipment that maintains an ambient air temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Molluscan shellfish shall be received in refrigerated equipment or on ice that maintains a temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Time, temperature controlled for safety, TCS, food that is cooked to a temperature and for a time specified under section 228.71 of this subchapter and received hot shall be at a temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit or above. A food that is labeled frozen and shipped frozen by a food processing plant shall be received frozen. Upon receipt, time temperature control for safety food shall be free of evidence of previous temperature abuse, such as but not limited to odors, ice crystals, frost, or discoloration. Temperature and time control. Frozen food. Stored frozen foods shall be maintained frozen. Time. Temperature controlled for safety food, slacking. Frozen time, temperature control for safety food that is slack to moderate the temperature shall be held, under refrigeration that maintains the food temperature at 41 F or less or at any temperature if the food remains frozen. Thawing time temperature control for safety food shall be thawed, under refrigeration that maintains the food temperature at 41 F or less or completely submerged under running water at a water temperature of 70 F or below, with sufficient water velocity to agitate and float off loose particles in an overflow and for a p 
period that does not allow thawed portions of ready-to-eat food to rise above 41F or for a period that does not allow thawed portions of a raw animal food requiring cooking 41F for more than 4 hours including the time the food is exposed to the running water and the time needed for preparation for cooking or the time it takes under refrigeration to lower the food temperature to 41F. As part of a cooking process if the food that is frozen is, cooked as specified. Thawed in a microwave oven and immediately transferred to conventional cooking equipment, with no interruption in the process or using any procedure if a portion of frozen ready-to-eat food is thawed and prepared for immediate service in response to an individual consumer's order. Reduced oxygen packaged fish that bears a label indicating that it is to be kept frozen until time of use shall be removed from the reduced oxygen environment prior to its thawing under refrigeration. Cooling cooked time, temperature control for safety food shall be cooled, within 2 hours, from 135F to 70F and within a total of 6 hours, from 135F to 41F or less. Time slash temperature controlled for safety food shall be cooled within 4 hours to 41F or less, if prepared from ingredients at ambient temperature, such as reconstituted foods and canned tuna. This is to ensure that it gets through the danger zone properly. A time, temperature control for safety food received in compliance with laws allowing a temperature above 41F during shipment from the suppliers shall be cooled within 4 hours to 41F or less. Raw shell eggs shall be received and immediately placed in refrigerated equipment that maintains an ambient air temperature of 45F or less. Cooling methods. Cooling shall be accomplished by using one or more of the following methods based on the type of food being cooled, placing the food in shallow pans, separating the food into smaller or thinner portions, using rapid cooling equipment, stirring the food in a container placed in an ice water bath, using containers that facilitate heat transfer, adding ice as an ingredient, or other effective methods. When placed in cooling or cold holding equipment, food containers in which food is being cooled shall be arranged in the equipment to provide maximum heat transfer through the container walls and loosely covered, or uncovered if protected from overhead contamination during the cooling period to facilitate heat transfer from the surface of the food. Time, temperature controlled for safety food, hot and cold holding. Except during preparation, cooking, or cooling, or when time is used as the public health control food shall be maintained, at 135F or above, except roasts cooked per the chart below. 41F or less, eggs that have not been treated to destroy all viable salmonelli shall be stored in refrigerated equipment that maintains an ambient air temperature of 45F or less. Time temperature control for safety TCS food in a homogeneous liquid form may be maintained outside of the temperature control requirements while contained within specially designed equipment that complies with the design and construction requirements for ready to eat. Time temperature control for safety food, date marking. Prepping procedures. Food must be prepared on clean and sanitized surfaces and equipment. The food preparer must be using proper personal hygiene. The preparation area must be lit to 50 candles luminosity. A candle is the light that a candle emits at one foot. Walk-in cooler is 10 candles. Food service areas is 20 candles. Care must be taken to prevent cross-contamination. If the food is to be cooked, cook to the proper temperature. Cold and hot holding temperatures and times observed. When prepping food, only pull out the amount of food to prep that you can work within a reasonable amount of time so that the product doesn't have a significant change in temperature during prep time. Date marking. Except when packaging food using a reduced oxygen packaging method refrigerated, ready to eat, time temperature control for safety, TCS. Food prepared and held in a food establishment for more than 24 hours shall be clearly marked to indicate the date or day by which the food shall be consumed on the premises, sold, or discarded when held at a temperature 41F or less for a maximum of 7 days. The day of preparation shall be counted as day 1. 
refrigerated, ready to eat, time, temperature controlled for safety food prepared and packaged by a food processing plant shall be clearly marked, at the time the original container is opened in a food establishment and held at a temperature of 41 F or less. If the food is held for more than 24 hours, to indicate the date or day by which the food shall be consumed on the premises, sold, or discarded, based on the temperature and time combinations specified in this section. The day the original container is opened in the food establishment shall be counted as day 1 and the day or date marked by the food establishment may not exceed a manufacturer's use by date if the manufacturer determined the use by date based on food safety. A refrigerated, ready to eat time, temperature control for safety, TCS, food ingredient or a portion of a refrigerated, ready to eat, time slash temperature control for safety, TCS, food that is subsequently combined with additional ingredients or portions of food shall retain the date marking of the earliest prepared or first prepared ingredient. A date marking system described above. Using a method approved by the regulatory authority for refrigerated, ready to eat time slash temperature control for safety, TCS, food that is frequently rewrapped, such as lunch meat or a roast, or for which date marking is impractical such as soft serve mix or milk in a dispensing machine, if you grab a sheet of wrap or foil and your hands are not clean, and wrap a food in it, then your dirt or germs will be in contact with the food. Marking the date or day of preparation, with a procedure to discard the food on or before the last date or day by which the food must be consumed on the premises, sold, or marking the date or day the original container is opened in a food establishment, with the procedure to discard the food on or before the last date or day by which the food must be consumed on the premises, sold, or using calendar dates, days of the week, color-coded marks, or other effective marking methods, if the marking system is disclosed to the regulatory authority upon request. This does not apply to the following foods prepared and packaged by a food processing plant inspected by a regulatory authority, Deli salads, such as ham salad, seafood salad, chicken salad, egg salad, pasta salad, potato salad, and macaroni salad, manufactured in accordance current good manufacturing practice in manufacturing, packing, or holding human food, hard cheeses containing not more than 39% moisture, cheeses, and related cheese products, such as cheddar, gruyere, parmesan and reggiano, and romano. Semi-soft cheeses containing more than 39% moisture, but not more than 50% moisture, cheeses, and related cheese products, such as Blue, Edam, Gorgonzola, Gouda, and Monterey Jack. Cultured dairy milk and cream, such as yogurt, sour cream, and buttermilk, preserved fish products, such as pickled herring and dried or salted cod and other acidified fish products shelf-stable, dry fermented sausages, such as pepperoni and genoa, and shelf-stable salt-cured. Products such as prosciutto and parma, ham. When storing or stocking foods, FIFO, or first-in, first-out procedures should be used where the next product used is the oldest. Shelf-loading theory Food is not placed anywhere convenient in a walk-in cooler or other food storage place. It must be assumed that if the packaging, no matter how good, could find a way to leak. It could have hit something or something hit it or other things. On the top shelves, salads, and other things that will not be cooked before serving are placed. As you go from top to bottom shelf, you also go from lowest cooking temperature to highest cooking temperature so the lower food will be cooked to kill pathogens on the food stored above it. Example. Hamburger meat goes below steaks because steaks must be cooked to 145 and hamburger meat must be cooked to 155. Ready to eat, time, temperature control for safety food, disposition. A food shall be discarded if it exceeds either of the temperature and time combinations specified above, except time that the product is frozen, is in a container or package that does not bear a date or day, 
or is appropriately marked with a date or day that exceeds a temperature and time combination as specified above. Refrigerated, ready to eat, time temperature controlled for safety food prepared in a food establishment and dispensed through a vending machine with an automatic shut-off control shall be discarded if it exceeds a temperature and time combination as specified above. Time as a public health control If time without temperature control is used as the public health control for a working supply of time, temperature control for safety food before cooking, or for ready-to-eat time temperature control for safety food that is displayed or held for sale or service. Written procedures shall be prepared in advance, maintained in the food establishment and made available to the regulatory authority upon request that specify the methods of compliance with the TFER. Methods of compliance with subsection, D, of this section for food that is prepared, cooked and refrigerated before time is used as a public health control. Up to a maximum of 4 hours, the food shall have an initial temperature of 41 F or less when removed from cold holding temperature control, or 135 F or greater when removed from hot holding temperature control. The food shall be marked or otherwise identified to indicate the time that is 4 hours past the point in time when the food is removed from temperature control. The food shall be cooked and served, served at any temperature if ready to eat, or discarded, within 4 hours from the point in time when the food is removed from temperature control and the food in unmarked containers or packages, or marked to exceed a 4 hour limit shall be discarded. If time without temperature control is used as the public health control up to a maximum of 6 hours, the food shall have an initial temperature of 41 degrees F or less when removed from temperature control and the food temperature may not exceed 70 F within a maximum time of 6 hours, the food shall be monitored to ensure the warmest portion of the food does not exceed 70 F during the 6 hour period, unless an ambient air temperature is maintained that ensures the food does not exceed 70. During the 6-hour holding period, the food shall be marked or otherwise identified to indicate, the time when the food is removed 41 F or less cold holding temperature control and the time that is 6 hours past the point in time when the food is removed from cold holding temperature control, the food shall be discarded if the temperature of the food exceeds 70 F or cooked and served, served at any temperature if ready to eat or discarded within a maximum of 6 hours from the point in time when the food is removed from 41 F or less cold holding temperature control, and the food in unmarked containers or packages, or marked with a time that exceeds the 6 hour limit shall be discarded. A food establishment that serves a highly susceptible population may not use as the public health control for raw eggs. Raw Animal Foods Microwave must be rotated or stirred throughout or midway during cooking. Covered to retain surface moisture heated to a temperature of at least 165 degrees in all parts of the food stand for 2 minutes after cooking for temperature equilibrium fruits and vegetables that are cooked for holding must be cooked to 135 degrees. Side note. Microwave ovens must be cleaned in place every day, including the door seals. Use your food thermometer to ensure that you have heated the food to these temperatures to ensure that pathogens, if present, will be reduced to an acceptable level. This is not optional. Reheating process. Time temperature controlled for safety food that is cooked, cooled, and reheated for hot holding shall be reheated so that all parts of the food reach a temperature of at LEAST 165F, for 15 seconds. Time temperature control for safety food reheated in a microwave oven for hot holding shall be reheated so that all parts of the food reach a temperature of at least 165 F and the food is rotated or stirred, covered, and allowed to stand covered for 2 minutes after reheating. Ready to eat time temperature control for safety, TCS.
food that has been commercially processed and packaged in a food processing plant that is inspected by the regulatory authority that has jurisdiction over the plant, shall be heated to a temperature of at least 135 degrees F when being reheated for hot holding. Thirty-five reheating for hot holding shall be done rapidly and the time the food is between 41 F and the temperatures in the above charts may not exceed two hours. Remaining unsliced portions of meat roasts that are cooked as specified under subsection 228.71, A. 2, of this title, may be reheated for hot holding using the oven parameters and minimum time and temperature conditions specified under subsection 228.71. A, 2, of this title, above charts. End of Lesson 3 We encourage you to download the PDF of this lesson for reference and study.